his birthday uh, from last night's approval of the IATF that uh, we, the mayors, as uh, part of the front line, uh, we get our job anytime today or tomorrow. So I immediately took the opportunity to get vaccinated because, as you all know, there is a continuing growth of infection within our community. So I'm grateful to God and grateful to the wonderful Filipinos who can pass. And I hope others will uh, uh, follow. Sana po sa mga kababayan natin. Huwag pa nga rin po sa inyo na yung sino pa pinatutulog natin sa taong bayan. I, I, I made a promise that I'm going to use uh, Sinovac. So, of yeah, course, Sinovac is going to be able to use it to be able to use it to be able to use it. Hopefully, may awa ang Diyos, next week, meron tayo ulit vaccine. And please come and go to our vaccination site uh, once you are part of the uh, priority listing. Uh, why you choose Sinovac for the Well, uh, one, a lot of Filipinos are having uh, a doubt uh, with the uh, Sinovac. But I, I do always believe that the system will work. As, I, uh, as a matter of commitment, any product approved by our regulatory agencies like FDA will be used by Filipinos. As a matter of commitment, then uh, uh, FDA approved Pfizer uh, for EUA, uh, AstraZeneca for uh, EUA, and Sinovac for EUA. And there is uh, available Sinovac, so I try to make it uh, available to anyone. And in fact, uh, at first, I thought I can get vaccinated, you know? no, no, no. but uh, I'm not yet allowed because it's under A1 category. But uh, I continue to make a commitment to the people of Manila that this is done I'm going to use. So it's an approved, safe product based on our regulatory agencies in the country. The Chinese government has already donated and also the Philippine government procure another one million and maybe more will come. So how do you see the significance of the Chinese vaccine and how does the recovery, you know, help me and help our people to fight for Any vaccine for that matter is welcome in the country, uh, whether it is Sinovac, whether it is uh, Pfizer or Sasenica, as long as it is available. The best vaccine is those vaccines that are available nowadays. And the most efficient vaccine is the one in your arms. This is the efficient vaccine uh, in your arms. Because uh, it will, scientists said uh, it will help you fight the possible near future or maybe in the future infection. So we are grateful to any countries, China, America, British, it doesn't matter whatever countries, that would uh, give appropriate sum or volume. Because uh, I think our people deserve also to receive vaccine. And they, I hope the agreement between countries in the world uh, with regard to uh, equality of share, you know, so yung, uh, access to vaccine should be uh, fulfilled. That's why I, I still continue to hope. Now. Therefore, if there will be new vaccine coming from China uh, with regard to Sinovac, then if it is available to us, we will offer it to uh, every Manilenius uh, in the city of Manila. Right 
how many uh, vaccine centers like this do you still have in the United States? In the case of city of Manila, I can only speak for my city. Uh, we, we don't have a plan anymore. We are implementing our plan since March 2. So we've been doing and deploying uh, uh, vaccination. What we're going to do next is to innovate and adapt to the current uh, if there is demand uh, and lack of uh, supply. You know? That's uh, how we evolve nowadays. But uh, modestly aside, the city of Manila, through Manila Health Department, uh, Dr. Oxpangan, and my partner, Vice Mayor, uh, we've been uh, planning since last year. Yeah, yeah. You're there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, oh. Sorry. Uh, so these things that you're seeing were being planned before uh, last quarter of uh, 2020. Wow. So that's why, uh, immediately, and modestly aside, when we had vaccine, we deployed. And as we speak, uh, yesterday, we got uh, 41,692, to be exact, uh, got vaccinated in the city of Manila. Most of it are uh, Sinopac uh, vaccine because uh, there are only two available vaccines that uh, were made available to us. No? Uh, your AstraZeneca for our seniors, uh, and then Sinovac for uh, A3 and A1. And hopefully, uh, as we fulfilled yesterday, the minimum requirements of DOH uh, uh, having uh, vaccinated 1% uh, of the population as comorbidity based on uh, with comorbidity, comorbidity, comorbidity. <laughs> May sakit. So, I'm saying, I know she's bleeding already. English. <laughs> With regard to uh, A3. Mm. And under that uh, minimum requirements, at 1.9 million peg of DOH, that is uh, 19,000 uh, individuals. Yesterday, okay. we achieved it already. We got, we got 19,400 plus vaccinated, plus today. So most likely, most likely, if there will be vaccine tomorrow, or the day after tomorrow, we will go and certify Manila, done already with A3, and go further A4, which is the front line, the other front lines. And this is a huge volume. As we go deeper, it goes bigger in terms of population. So I'm hoping that will happen uh, uh, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. And the available vaccine, just so you know, uh, on hand under uh, POH uh, uh, storage facility is 1 million in How many vaccine centers like this this today is the last 1,300 doses. I mean, how many centers like this? Uh, centers, okay. Yeah. Our plan is 18 sites yeah. in a good weather. But that thing did not come because there is ECQ. So we have to adjust, we have to innovate. We have to continue to follow IATF rules. At the same time, we must vaccinate. If the infection is fast, the vaccination should be faster. So that's why we did not stop. Even as you can see, yesterday was Saturday, and today is Sunday. We continue to deploy to reach as many people as possible. Where are you going to be able to get the mayor? You have to be the president. Okay, through the uh, airport of uh, President Duterte, submitted it before the ITF. Uh, the IATF approved the vaccination as far as I know, no? uh, those mayors within the hot zone, which is in this case, uh, uh, Bulacan, Rizal, Cavite, Laguna, and Metro Manila. That's the municipality of mayors of the hot zone? Along the bubble? Within, within the hot zone, okay. where there is high infection rate. I, I think that's the right word to use in the Yonghan area.
So, hindi na ako nagpatagal pa. Nabanggit ko ba nila kung ano yung tahitas kung bakit yung pinayagal? As you all know, it cannot be denied. One, ang mayor, sa totoo naman, ayaw lang naman namin siyempre makipagunahan. Pero ang mayor naman talaga, kayo, laging ko kayo kasama, nasa field, nasa front line. And, uh, Can you imagine the policy maker, the implementer, getting sick? What would happen to at least a million people in that particular area? So, but be that as it may, despite in my willingness to get vaccinated, we continue to follow the IATF ruling in the past. But now, moving on, I am. Grateful that we were given an opportunity. So maybe the reason is it's high time to get the mayors vaccinated. Anyway, alam mo ilan lang ba ang mayor? 1,600 plus lang sa mga Pilipinas. And at stake yung bawat LGU, can you imagine that? I'm just fortunate in the people of Malay because I have a doctor vice mayor. But what if? Kung may mga politikahan pa. Just what if lang, no? Let's be honest to ourselves sa kanya-kanyang mga Second, a lot of mayors are getting infected. It cannot be denied also. In Metro Manila, uh, it was registered that a few mayors in Metro Manila got COVID-19. At salamat sa Diyos na kaligtas. In fact, as we speak, uh, the, uh, one of the mayor of, uh, I mean, the Baguio mayor, Mayor Magalong, got uh, uh, infected. Because we are involved in the field. Kaya malaki rin ang exposure uh, sa COVID-19 na mga mga. Pero ang tingin niyo may may ginalaman pa sa mag-convince rin sa mga tao na magpapakuna? Sa Maynila, nung una, siyempre, kabado ako, magpapapakuna pa yung tao. No? Eh, pero sa Maynila, eh, pinagpapasalamat ko sa mga taga Maynila, nakikinig sila sa pamalang lokal. Paligtad na ngayon, kami na ang tumutukod. Ito, <laughs> oh, yun na. Eh, sa dami ng demand. Oh. Eh, kasi, uh, 41,692 uh, in less than two weeks. I, I think, uh, uh, there is a high demand. Mas, mga taga Manila. Mga taga Manila. I can only speak for uh, Manila. So, yes, it may help also. It may help. Uh, it cannot be denied. It may help. But that is not about it. About what is important is everybody will have an opportunity to get vaccinated, especially you mga involved sa pagpapatupad, pagkaagapay, paglilingkod sa tao. Eh, siguro hindi naman masama. At sa ka pangalawa, yung A1 yung mga medical frontliner, they were given one month already. Ipak hanggang ngayon. 20 pa rin sila? Oo, kahapon nakasiyento 20 pa kami na medical frontliners. So hindi ibig sabihin, pag bumaba na sa A1, going A2, o bumaba na sa A3, uh, yung mga A1, A1 na na. Hindi, <laughs> babakulahan pa rin sila. They can come anytime that they wish us to. But we cannot continue to wait for them because it is unfair for the people, yan yan, nakikita nyo na yan. Na sila, gusto gusto na lang pabakuna, hindi makababa, nakakahintay sa kanila. So we cannot do that. Pero ngayon, kamusta po? Ano po ba magiging itulog na dito magpapabakuna mo? Hindi lamang sa'yo personally, kundi sa mga lungsod ng mga Ang kahulugan nito para sa akin, ay masaya ako, o dahil, nagdag may dagdag akong proteksyon. Yan yun. Ang sa Maynila naman, eh, maraming kasi tinatanong ako, Yorne, ikaw kabakuna ka ng pabakuna sa amin. Ikaw hindi ka naman nagpapabakuna. O, tama naman ang pangumayan doon. But at least today, I'm allowed already. So, I, I immediately, first hour, I, I, I took the chance. Pero may ano kayo nung isang maging ano, parang yung perception ng mga tao is Uh, hopeful, hopeful ba kayo na yun na, yung mga ibang hesitant pa rin, may mga hesitant pa rin, makapagpapayon? I am hopeful. I continue to be hopeful every day that we can convince people to get vaccinated. As long as meron tayong bakuna. O katulad ngayon, 
Ako, tansya ko lang ha. Tansya ko lang. Ito, mananghali, posta na ito. Kasi 450, 450, 450, 1-3 na lang halos yung bakuna namin. Eh, tatlong sites. Eh, tatlong sites lang ngayon. Kapon, 12. So, ngayon, ano tayo? Nga nga. Tenga. Kasi walang bakuna. Ilang po yung nabakunahan na ang kahap? 41,692 ang grand. Ang grand, ang grand total. total. But yesterday, 8,052 ang 8,352 plus. No, no, no. 8,258 ano, uh, mm. plus 120. Na, mas nagkapo mga 8,400. 8,400 ang nabakunan the whole day at yesterday out of 8,400 na 8,300 under 8,300 category 120 is A1 which is mga medical front line ang other issues lang po kasi na-extend naman tayo ng one week ano yung reaction nyo and may ayuda po ba na ibibigay sa mga tao well if that is the decision we will continue to follow Two, may ayuda ba ang Maynila, yung lokal na lokal na pamana? Kami po kahit ECQ, NGCQ, well, lahat ng Q. Um, meron po kami sa Maynila na tinatawag na FSP, yung Food Subsidy Program. So this is a monthly uh, food subsidy uh, for the people of Manila. Uh, isang unipo faction. Uh, nadali na namin yung Pebrero, nadali na namin yung Marso, o oh, ngayon, titirayin na nga ninyo April. Kasi nakapaganda na kami ng Mayo, ng Munyo, at Munyo. Yun yung ayuda namin ng bawat with or without quarantine categorization. Okay. Second, with regard to may ayuda ba ang Maynila coming from the national, yun yung hinihintay namin. Base sa mga salitaan, kwento pa lang naman eh, ang Maynila, ang mga lokal na sila uh, lokal na bayan no? ay uh, tatanggap ng, uh, uh, ng ayuda, cash. So choices ng mga mayor kung cash or goods. Ako ang choice ko, cash, bibigay sa tao. Ano ang mga amount? Ano ang sabi? Sabi ha, nila, ay 1,000 pesos per head. Per head. No? per head. Or maximum of 4,000 per family. So, pwede ang pamilya tumanggap ng 2,000, ng 3,000, or ng 4,000. Pero maximum is 4,000. Second rule, yung mga sub-listed at wait-listed. Yun ang sinasabi ko. Nakita ko na yung memo eh. Pero, sa ngayon, gusto ko lang maliwanag, alawas pa yung chape, hindi pa dumarating sa Maynila. Ang pagkutante lang alam yun. Yun, dumating. Bibili ko. Bakit po pinili niyong cash ang ibigay kesa in time? Eh kasi may pagkain ng Maynila. Oh, sa Maynila, oh, meron kami yung FSB. Oh. Kanala mo noong 2020 budget preparation for 2021, we included, uh, through the effort of uh, Vice Mayor Ani, we included the program, COVID-19 FSB, which is Food Subsidy Program. This program, will address the effects of inflation. Yun ang logic namin, na maibsan yung gustusin ng mga tao, bawat pamilya, about 600,000, almost 700,000 families in the city of Manila. So, sa awa naman ng Diyos, na kadalawang buwan na kami, nakikirain na yung Abril. Timely, easy to do. Kaya pa ba ng Maynila na sa kalagay extend na naman yung ECQ? Kaya pa ba? Eh, alam mo, kaming mga taong pamalaan, hindi pwede mag-iba. Kasi nananawagan kami sa taong bayan, huwag kayong bibitaw, huwag kayong kapit lang. So we should continue to aspire better things for, for our people. We should continue to pursue uh, to help our people survive. We should not stop. And we will not stop. We guarantee you that. Kung kaya namin, malamang hirap na kami, to be honest. But we will. We will try. We will try to deliver still services, timely services for our people.
I'll be honest and fair. The day before yesterday, 15,000. Yesterday, 12,000. You do the math. So it's everywhere. And I'm telling you, ako na po nagsasabi sa inyo based on experience. Lima, lima. Sa opisina ko, where I live, I've been living in the office for ako four weeks na. Running three weeks ako. Lima sa kanila kasama ko sa kwarto. Positive. So the point is, kung naghahanap ka ng COVID, lumabas ka ng bahay. Hindi ka nalala ito. Eh kasi kami nasa loob na ng opisina, pinupuntahan pa ni COVID. So ito, baligtad, ikaw ang sumusundo kay COVID. Eh hindi ka bibiruin yung COVID. And I'm telling you, I'm gonna share you I won't name names. I'm going to share you the people that I have talked to over the phone. Na may COVID. Grasping for air. As in, yung libre na hangin, hindi mo maramdaman. Ganun kahirap yung dinadanas ng isang COVID patient with symptoms. So, Again and again, nananawagan ako, please. Uh, beta muna sa Gedli, sopa muna sa Oblo, nyangga-nyangga muna, chill. May, may, there is time for, for, for everything. If there is time, huwag niyo madaliin. Dahil talaga napakahirap ito, then you will never know who is infected or not. Okay, okay. Ako last, 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 last mayor. Mayor, kanina maaga ako dito eh. Nakita ko yung haba ng pila na Halos 2,000 yata. Pero pinano ng police after 500-400. Ah, magpapaliwanag ko ba tayo sa mga tanong? We were very fair last night. Nakita ninyo yung announcement namin. First time kayo nakakita ng announcement. May numero. Kasi, gusto ko maging fair. Pag walang numero yun, one to. Ano ba? One to sawa. Pag nilagay namin ng numero, gusto lang namin maging tapat sa tao na itong vaccination site na to, o oh, 450 lang. Itong vaccination site na to, 450 lang. But yesterday, as you can see, in Magsaysay, oh, oh. di ba, kami daw, one to kami daw, di ba? Oh, one to oh, sawa. Oh. Ah, awa ng Diyos, isang libo. Oh, one four. Oh, 
Kagabi sa Pedro Gibara, oi thank you mga pala sa mga taga Manila Health Department ha. Oo, oh, galing. Sa Pedro Gibara, alas 8 na ng gabi. Nanyanyan ka pa kami. Oh. Kaya gusto ko lang pair. Pag naglagay kami ng numero, ibig sabihin yun lang yung kaya. Pag wala yun, <laughs> Wala na talaga supply. Gusto mo, kung madaling araw, walang tulugan eh. Basta may supply lang. Hindi, totoo yun. Kaya walang cut-off. There is no such thing as cut-off. Pag kaya may cut-off, kasi deklaradong may cut-off. Pero pag walang deklarasyon, lahat ng po pwede. Within the category. Huwag lang pepekein yung ano. Yung mga medical certificate. O kita nyo, may nahuli kanina, walo. Oo nga, may git na. Imagine mo yun. Kasi, madidiscover kayo ng ano eh. Ng doktor eh. Kita mo, tinatanong ako kanina. Malalaman niya, ano pong common visiting niyo? Screening. Wala. O ano po kayo dito? A4. Bakit? Kaya lang na po kagabi, sabi ng IATF. Kaya ako binakunahan. But if I say A3, 18 to 59, comorbidity, tatanungin niya na ako ng mga medical questions. At malalaman ng mga doktor, ni Dr. Fox Pangan, na pinipake ka lang. Dati pinipake, dokumento, kaya pati laway na pinipake. Thank you. Okay, okay. Klaro, klaro. Kaling mo. Magaling toys. Ano pang araw niya ngayon, Ani? Magaling si Hani Pakuna. Bago pigyan. Thank you sa inyo. Mag-iingat kayo. You take care. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, I'll subscribe to you. Yes, I'll subscribe to you. Okay, peace.